Hi friends, the story I have for you is called And Then It's Spring. This is by Julie Fogliano and illustrated by Aaron E. Steed. And then it's spring. First you have brown all around. You have brown. Everything is dead from the winter. Then there are seeds. and a wish for rain. And then it rains. And it is still brown, but a hopeful, very possible sort of brown. And is that a little green? No, it's just brown sort of brown. Then it is a week. Anything growing yet? Nope. And you worry about those little seeds. And if maybe it was the birds he thought that maybe the birds ate the seeds. That's why they're not growing. Or maybe it was the bears and all that stomping. Because bears can't read signs that say things like, please do not stomp here. There are seeds and they are trying. Do you think the bears did anything? I don't think so. And then it is one more week. Growing things is, it takes a lot of patience. And the brown, still brown, has a greenish hum that you can only hear if you put your ear to the ground and close your eyes. There's lots of stuff happening under the ground. Ants. And then it is one more week. It's putting up a tire swing. And a sunny day, that sunny day that happens right after that rainy day. Hmm, what do you think is going to happen? And you walk outside to check on all that brown. <gasps> but the brown isn't around and now you have green all around you have green. This stuff is starting to grow too, isn't it? And the grass. The end.